hi guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show us how to cut a circle dress so let's get started here is the fabric my scissors my tape measure and this is my check so now to start with the first thing to do now is to take your fabric this is the fabric i want to work on this is the yard size the, the desired length desired yard i want to work on and this is the width of the fabric so i'll be laying it on the table folding it along the width area so as you can see i'm flipping it in a diagonal line across the other side so hope you see i'm folding it across the width of the fabric then you lay it very well on the table so i'm trying to secure the fabric because i'm working on a chiffon material and at the same time my managing this table my table is occupied at the moment so now the next thing to do now is to measure the back take the back measurements so that's the first thing to do for this one now I'll be, i need back measurements of 14 inches and i'll be adding half inch to the so 14 inches on four the seven inches so i'll be measuring out 7.5 inches for the half length in with the sleeve will be inserted so that's why i'm measuring 7.5 inches so i'm trying to connect it to make it to form a straight line to know where i will start taking my measurements from so after that now is to determine my neckline measurement so i'll be working on 3.5 3.5 inches then you come to the shoulder and come down by nine inches you can as well measure your hand hole so but basically you measure at nine inches so this is where my nine inches reach i'm going to connect it but before then let me come down by one and a half inch as my shoulder slant so here's my shoulder one and a half inches i'm marking it then i'll connect it to the neckline so that will make the shoulder slope so from the neckline now to the one and a half inch is the shoulder slope so the next thing now so I'm trying to connect this slope very well for you to see very well. So the next thing is to connect that shoulder slope to the 9 inches I measured as my ham hole. Then you call, you determine your ham hole, you curve it. You can as well make use of a French curve, but I'm using my free hand now. So after getting that now, the next thing to do is to come determine the depth of the neckline so i'm using just four inches you can use five you can use you know as you desired so i've used just four i think i use four or 4.5 inches now so i'm going to connect it to make a round neckline so you can also make use of french curve here also to get a perfect circle perfect round neckline so the next thing to do now is to determine your length so the length you want to do this dress can come in form of a top form of a long dress or as you desire for your length so for this one now i'll be measuring like 25 inches as my top length so you place your tape measure at the shoulder slope at the tip of the shoulder then you start your measurements so i need 25 inches so i'll place it at the shoulder slope and get my 25 inches uh, at the right side here so this is my 25 inches then at the shoulder slope also you you make sure it doesn't diversify from the shoulder slope while taking your measurements all around the fabric so you can see i didn't move it from the shoulder slope while measuring my desired length 
so this is what you do while you measure it so i try to secure my fabric very well i told you i'm working with a chiffon material and the some the clothes the fabric is just dancing on my table so i'm trying to measure out my desired length so this is it you can see from the shoulder slope to the this is my 25 inches and 25 inches so till the end of the fabric 25 inches so having done that now try to connect it from from the bust area so from the first fan area so actually is a is a issue it, it should be it's supposed to be a free dress so you can just measure out your bust area or and then you connect it to the down parts of the of the dress so you connect it straight down then the next thing is to cut out So the next thing is to cut out the fabric. So this is where my sent five inches stops, and this that is why that is where I'm cutting from. So you can see I'm trying to cut out the 25 inches I measured as my length, as my desired length. So you can come you can also you can come in, in a long dress form, which means you are going to measure down to um measurements so you put the side also and determine the ham hole there so just call the short area the marked area and you have your dress ready so another thing is that you are expected to cut this kind of dress one after the other so you don't just cut your front and back together at once so you have to cut either the front first before cutting your back or you cut the back first before cutting your front so this is what we have after cutting it out so you are going to use this one now you can see how full it is you can see the fullness so this is how your circle dress should look like so when you when you cut this one now you are going to use this one to cut the other part so that is how to cut your circle dress thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video so thank you this is after joining it you can see the fullness you can feel it so you can Make it in a long dress, as I have said earlier, and this is what it will look like. Can you feel the fullness? Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye-bye.